Hello and welcome to this series of Creating Accessible Documents, a series of videos which will take you through this introduction that we have here, followed by actually how to create documents and how to export them to, to different formats. So uh, the first thing is really is what is an accessible document? Well, an accessible document is one that allows people who maybe have additional needs and use devices such as screen readers to allow them to navigate the document and, and access the content that others take for granted. So we'll be looking at how to create an accessible document. That'll be one tutorial. I will also show you how you can test for accessibility within Word and how you can export to other formats such as PDF, EPUB, Braille and large print. So the secret is really having a good solid Word document that is well structured uh, and that then allows you to, to, to go to these other formats or to export to these other formats so other user, users can get access to them. So such as PDF, EPUB, Braille and large print as well as MP3 uh, audio as well. So there are five important ingredients we need to think about and most important probably is heading styles structure which is built into Word. So looking at the title, heading one, heading two, heading threes, these, these types of things that are, are very important. Adding page numbers so people can navigate by page numbers. Descriptive images, so for example if you have a, a, an image of a chart or a table and it's conveying important information then that must be labelled appropriately so that the screen reader or the person can read that information. Accessible tables, so tables need to be again sort of tagged to make them accessible, columns, rows, uh, so people know where they are in the table. And particularly logical descriptive hyperlinks, so avoiding click here in documents, so hyperlinks must convey logical and descriptive information if they are to, to be able to, to work. And also things like colour contrast, plain English. But these are the, I would say, the five essential ingredients to creating a, a document. In terms of who benefits, well, uh, we are all bound by Legislation Equality Act to make reasonable adjustments, so it's something we should be doing. Pupils, of course, benefit. Uh, not just pupils with additional support needs, but all pupils. It helps your workflow. Once you get into the way of using um, heading formats and structures, it just makes your workflow so much quicker and better and everyone benefits it's how words was designed to be so it's a fantastic thing if you